today we're making something really nice and simple for Mother's Day, a gift for mothers. So for that I'm using Fevitrel Moulded. The resin base and the hardener should be mixed in proper proportion. Only mix uh, or knead the amount that you need for your project and no more than that. So as you can see, I have pulled a clean sheet of paper to work with this mould because if this mould gets stuck on any other surface, it will be very hard to erase it. I'm making balls because I want to see if I have taken the equal amount. I need a little bit more of the hardener. So making balls uh, makes it easier to understand if we are making them in uh, portions. This looks equal. Now we are going to mix these two. Molded is an air dry clay. So when we mix the oxy resin and the hardener, it makes a very nice clay to work with. I am going to make a brooch. I am going to um, add some beads and stones to it and then a safety pin. When the resin is totally mixed, it should bear white in color and there should be no other brown lines in it. And that means it has been kneaded properly. And when it has been kneaded properly, we will give it a shape. I'm going to make a simple brooch and I'll be giving it an oval shape. I think this will do. I'll put it on my paper. So now to decorate it, I'll be using some sequins, beads and some rhinestones. So the first of all, we need to decorate it. For that, I'm going to make a border around it and I'm going to make that using the beads. it a little the clay is yet to dry and it's making my work easier This is done. After that, I'll be using these sequins, flowers to decorate. And we do this while our clay is still wet. It has not dried. I'll use all of the colors except the silver color. Lastly, I'll be filling it with brown stones. let it dry and we'll wait for these beads to get stuck into the clay and we'll wait for it to dry and after that we'll fix the safety pin from the behind. After this has dried, all of the rhinestones, the beads are stuck on it very firmly. We'll need a little bit more of our clay and a safety pin so that we can fix it from the back side. For that, I'll be mixing it again in equal proportions and remember that this clay should turn to completely white in color and there should not be any visible grey or brown. There you go, we do not need this much, just a little bit of clay from this one so that we can fix the uh, safety pin to the brooch. How we are going to do that? Turn it upside down, put the safety pin here at the center. Now we let it dry 